type 9.
Good morning, traders. Welcome back to the Everyday Growth Advisors live stream. I hope you guys are having a good morning. It's Friday. And I'm over here trying to make some money today. So who thinks that we are about to rebound really hard? Because I have a feelings that we may look for a opportunity to rebound. Uh, but obviously we can't say for sure, for sure. This market's a bit crazy recently, right? We've been doing a little bit of a kangaroo. Um, I did mention that there was a very, you know, 50-50 chance that we would either, uh, you know, do a uh, W-shape kind of thing for a while, or we would do a rally back up to the all-time high, right? Uh, so, you know, SPY is desperately trying to break back into this channel today. Uh, that will be interesting to see how we uh try to you know get back into that channel uh the nasdaq still looks pretty brutal though so we'll have to see how this one plays out um what we really want to see is the recovery of the nasdaq that should lead the way for the market um uh, and so you know what let's just do the breakdown and see where where we're at okay uh so with the news let's have a look at what bloomberg's saying something about tiktok honestly i'm so i'm so over this whole tiktok thing just somebody buy the damn company, do whatever you want, to be honest. It's like doesn't like they're 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 really like making a what is it called? Uh what's that saying? Uh, a mountain out of a a molehill or a, I don't know, something something. <laughs> it's just it's just getting hyped up for nothing, man. Okay. I and personally I'm like, get over it. It's done. Like whatever. Who's buying it? What's buying it? Who owns what? Personally, I don't care. The market, the the company's not even private. But when it goes private, I'm gonna buy some leaps on the on that. Hopefully, <laughs> see what's the valuation of the business and go for it just for the hype. <laughs> Try to make a quick penny. I don't know something like that. <laughs> um, Google Yang's top India payment app for violating gambling policy. Oh no! U.S. futures mix, stocks fluctuate, bonds gain. Okay. Um, and then let's see anything else here not really markets like kind of uh, well news is kind of like um i want to say 50 50 split between bearish and bullish leaning more towards bearish though i want to say uh, on wall street journal we have u.s stock futures waiver as investors brace for volatile trading uh actually thinking about it the VIX is down. The VIX is in a downtrend. Uh, so maybe the worst is over. I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Uh, let's see the VIX get rejected here and continue to move down today. That would be nice. Um, if the VIX stays at this level, then expect more volatility. Because uh, look at this four-hour chart. It's still technically in an uptrend. Okay. Uh, we want to see the VIX break below this moving averages uh, and start to head downward like it always does. Okay. Uh, and that will really set it up there. Uh, so, yeah, we, we want to see the VIX go back into this downtrend, okay? Okay. Um, millions are house rich but cash poor. Wall Street landlords are ready. Okay, got to read that one later. Uh, China stock bulls spark a decoupling in market prices. Interesting. Snowflake, Snowflake CEO Schutman Scores IPO hat trick with big de big bet on data. So this company uh, IPO'd what day before yesterday? Share price almost tripled. <laughs> I feel bad for people who bought at the top. Uh, I didn't personally buy anything on it, but if I do get the uh, if they do enable options on it, I'm gonna uh, wait for a little bit of a dip and then buy some uh, long term calls on that company. Uh, I like data based companies, cloud based companies. They're you know something that's have a growth potential right now. Especially in these current times. Um, okay, as you can see, this is also a very mixed sentiment here. So I'm, I'm gonna give these two a read later. Uh, use make it take advantage of my school um, subscription of the Wall Street Journal. I get a, I get access to everything. It's pretty cool. I get access to podcast, video, everything. Uh, pre market movers here Dow Jones we have Apple a little bit up not really that crazy Walmart uh, Boeing is down a little bit uh, I'm gonna talk about Boeing a little later I think Boeing is a 
pretty interesting buy right now. Uh, S and P five hundred. You have Williams, General Electric. Okay, not really that many movers. Not not big movers. Tesla moving four percent on the Nasdaq here. Uh, a one point eight million shares traded pre market ahead of uh, Battery Day or whatever that's coming up, right? Um, Tesla is an interesting one as well. Um, at this at this point, I'm 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 a little confused myself as to what that stock is really going to do in you know by the end of this year. To be honest, um, okay. In terms of big news, uh, let's see here. Current account. Uh, what is this one? Measures the difference in value between exported and imported goods. Oh, okay. That's the net import. Okay. Services and interest payments during the reported month. Good portion of the same as monthly trade uh, balance figures because foreigners must buy the domestic currency to pay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, well, we have been um, pretty much not hitting this for a while. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, is it really? Oh, well, I guess this time it was it was a little worse than expected. It was a little worse than expected, right? You can see the rest of them were like, eh, whatever, right? This one was a little worse than expected. Oh, well. Um, did it affect the market, though? I don't know. I, I'm not looking. I haven't been looking. To be honest, when something like this happens, right? Something when this, like when this happens, I kind of automatically like turn off my mind. Uh, I don't get FOMO to trade this at all because I'll just simply wait for my situation to improve. I have such long expiries. I'm not worried about it, you know. I'm like, okay, let, just let this wave pass, you know. Be patient. Just gotta wait it out. Uh, sometimes the opportunity will present itself, and one such opportunity that I want, that I want to talk about and bring to your attention today is. Dun, dun, dun. Boeing. So I do like the prospect of trading this now, but I want to wait for a little more confirmation. Okay, uh, for people who've been attending the growth webinars and you know everything that we've been doing over here, um, I feel like you know this is a, a time to kind of showcase everything that you've been uh, learning so far. Okay, so if you've been you know uh, following along with the growth webinars and you've been learning, like basically I've put together a class, a free class on YouTube, right? If you think about it, it's pretty much like a, a, a free mentorship program if you just go through this entire playlist over here. And I, I mean, I, I don't see why people don't do it. And I mean, it's fine if you don't. Maybe you're busy. Maybe you have life. But if you go to this playlist called the Growth Webinars, right, you'll see that if you go from the start all the way to the end, you will learn a lot of valuable lessons that will put up, put together enough information to make valuable trades. Okay. Uh, I've really gone to the nook and crannies. But then obviously the mentorship course that I offer is a completely different thing. Okay. Uh, so what I'm looking at on Boeing here, which is a potential opportunity, I'm not saying that this is a trade that I'm going to take right away, yada, yada. Oh, everybody go all in on this. What I'm seeing is a breakout of the descending wedge, okay? A breakout of the descending wedge. And um, it's been making higher highs, right? We, we have, uh, we see this uh, first wave here, and now we're seeing signs of a second wave, right? Uh, so uh, the third wave, if it does occur, and come down and then use these moving averages as a support this on this start of the fourth wave is where i would like to enter but knowing boeing it's going to probably do something like this first and then up and then something like that uh it's a uh, it's been selling off very abruptly recently on bad news okay uh, but i still hold my long-term theory that this stock is undervalued and it's a matter of time before we buy up this stock. Uh, <clears throat> I think institutions are waiting for the right time to get in. And to be honest, I think a lot of institutions uh, probably, in fact, actually, you know what, let's do that exercise right now. I just, I'm, I'm actually very curious now that I mentioned it. Oh, thank you, Jonathan, for the $5 donation. I appreciate you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome into the live stream. I uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for that coffee. I appreciate it, uh, Jonathan. And uh, remember, guys, smash that like button if you're here. I really do appreciate it if you do that. Uh, free nuggets. Got my pen and paper ready. Gently caress the like button. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, also, guys, today is a new ticker day. Make sure you put in your new tickers. Um, like so. Uh, new ticker. And vote for your new ticker for next week. Okay. I want to know what you guys think of what companies we should do. Um, 
please keep in mind to avoid um, overvalued businesses. Okay. Good morning, T. What do you see good about Boeing? Heard you talk about them very often. Can we talk a, a little about their valuation? Yes, absolutely. So um, we've probably done a intrinsic valuation on Boeing a couple of times now. Uh, and this stock is intrinsically um, right now undervalued in my opinion. Okay, the stock is worth at least 200 some dollars, 220, 230, that's the region that I value this business at. Now, uh, there are a couple of reasons why I like Boeing as a long-term business because the 73 max grounding, uh, 737 max grounding and any other uh, short-term pressures that it, it faces creates a, uh, a short-term buying opportunity. And if you realize this is one of the few stocks that have yet to rebound from the COVID drop, okay? Uh, and this stock was trading at $400 pri prior to, to COVID hitting, okay? Uh, and Boeing fell off a cliff like this and has been trying to recover through these waves, but has been failing because of just bad news and, uh, you know, just, I don't know, uh, generally instability within the company, right? Uh, it's been having these multiple descending wedges uh, and, you know, the thing about it is from a technical standpoint, uh, you know, it could technically still go down further because it is still below the moving averages and the you can see the moving averages are in, scalloping out and yada, yada, right? Um, but from a fundamental perspective, I like the valuation of the business, number one. Number two, I like the fact that the business has a good leadership, okay? Um, and the fact that they didn't have to take additional debt on to service their existing uh, situation, okay? Uh, they were offered debt and they didn't take it. They raised debt through their own uh, uh, notes and senior notes offerings, uh, and, you know, that may, may or may not be something good in the future, but I like the long-term prospects of this business. You buy a business like this, you hold it for a year or two, and suddenly you've doubled your money, right? Uh, so that is the reason why I like Boeing, okay? It's it's one of those. FB looks like a good opportunity, may buy some leaps today. I don't disagree with that. I actually was looking at that earlier, so I can't, I can't uh, deny that. Uh, Facebook does look like a good opportunity here, by the way. Uh, nice, it, you know, this This is your old resistance here. You can see that, right? This is your old resistance. This now becomes your new support zone. This is a, a great little bounce play if you if you take it. If you have, you know, some cajonas and you play this one, um, it might actually be a really good one. Uh, I like it. I actually like it. And it pre-market is up about $4. I think it might be a good good prospect here. Uh, so you can see, oh, sorry, let me just adjust this real quick. This is the zone here. There we go. That makes more sense. Um, okay, new ticker, Wells Fargo Chase, Pen, Caterpillar, SHLL. No more? That's it? Guys, there's a hundred of you here in this live stream. You're not going to vote on who you want to do next week? Come on. There's more people here. You got to vote. You got to participate in this live stream. It's one of those interactive ones where I want to hear from you. And um, it's an educational stream. So it's not really, you know, focusing on, on you come here and I give you like a, a magical golden ticket. And all of a sudden, you know, um, we're all rich. Uh, the fact of the matter is this stream is for people who will be loyal to EGA and want to go through the hardship Um with the stream, it, it's not easy to be here. Like, uh, to be honest, uh, this is one of those difficult streams to attend, but it's so worth it when, when you know, we go through setups and they, um, you know, pay out, okay? Uh, so think about it, think about it. Your opinion matters. You can't, okay, first of all, there are a couple of rules about tickers. Uh, so try to pick a, okay. And uh, please stop spamming. I really appreciate that. Um, by spamming, you're not helping me. Um, try to pick a company that has a established, um, established track record. So Snowflake won't work because it just IPO'd. It just IPO'd. So we're not doing that company. Remember this comp this business has to have been running for a while. If we're doing fundamental analysis on it, it has to have been done for a while. We have covered XRM in the past. Go look at our previous live streams. Um, and try not to pick a, a ticker that we have covered in the past, right? 
Walmart, Disney. I like both of these. Walmart and Disney. These are good ones, right? Um, okay, let me continue this while you guys vote here. So, uh, Tesla, what is this? Berry Global Company, blah, blah, blah. Okay, da, da, da. Not really that many. Beyond Meat down 6%, uh, 5, 4%. I'm so glad I got out of this trade. I was thinking it was going to go higher, and now it got sold off. Um, and it hit the supply zone up here, so I, I this kind of spooked me out. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't I didn't hold on to this one. So my Beyond Meat trade, I took the profits out at you know I, I probably missed like this much, but I was good with this run up to be honest. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how it played out. I'm happy with the setup. If you have been following the live stream for a while, you knew well be before this happened that we were calling it out here. Uh, after breaking out of this wedge so you can see when something breaks out of the wedge yeah it can go down for a while but then remember like after the descending wedge there's usually a run up so dun 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 see what i'm saying this is starting to break out the wedge so watch boeing this will be interesting to see how it plays out okay this will be interesting to see how it plays out uh boeing may do you know like up and down waves and then eventually go up to 180 to test that by next month or something like that who knows okay but I'm just putting, I'm just dangling a carrot out there to tell you that watch this one. All right. Let's look at a couple of other tickers as well. Netflix is another one. Look at this strong demand zone here. All right. Strong demand zone. How many times has, has, has it been bought up here? Once, twice, and now for the third time, there's a high possibility that Netflix gets bought up here. Uh, good company, no problems. Um, uh, assist will also benefit from COVID-19. Um, I think good business to own long-term also. I like this business. Uh, so yeah, I mean, also another one for a bounce play possibility. Let's see here. Um, guys, don't forget while you're at it and you're already typing your ticker, it would mean the world to me if you just hit the like button. Just lightly tap the like, like button, the thumbs up, because I want other people to have access to the stream, and that will really help me. I appreciate all of you. All right, let's see. Pen Cat, AutoZone, WK has uh, snow. We can't do snow, so it snows out. Chewy, HON, MACD, TSM, X. We did X1 before. Uh, Lowe's, Walmart, Wal that's the second time someone said Walmart, okay, Costco, Disney, that's the second time someone said Disney, Walmart, Walmart in the lead so far, Disney, Walmart and Disney in the lead, Walmart, Walmart, okay, Walmart so far, Did, we haven't done Walmart before, ah, another Walmart, interesting, we might end up doing Walmart, I guess, Um. yeah, we. I'm pretty sure we didn't cover Walmart, I'm pretty sure, like, pretty, pretty sure, let me just, um, Go do a, a a double take here because I'm pretty sure we didn't cover Walmart. Um, XOM. Oh, we did cover Walmart before. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, guys. We have covered Walmart before. Uh, we can't do Walmart. Uh, Facebook. Walmart. Yeah, unfortunately, we've done Walmart already. Qcom. Maybe a sympathy for Nvidia. Ah, Qcom might be an interesting one. Yeah, we did Walmart. Sorry, guys. We have done Walmart. And we have done Disney as well. We're running out of tickers, guys. We're running out of tickers. We're running out of tickers. We're running out of tickers. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we have covered. Okay, tickers that we have covered. Goldman Sachs, Walmart, XOM, Intel. Actually, we haven't covered Disney. No, we have not covered Disney. Baba, Lulu, and now Starbucks. And this week we did CMG Chipotle. So Disney might be uh, the second pick. How about Disney, guys? You guys want to do Disney? Disney. Looking interesting as well. Very interesting, actually. This is the type of stock and analyzing would be dope, to be honest. Right? Think about it. And they have a huge like business model. So it'll be interesting to do a valuation on the entire business too. 
Thanks you, JC, for the $4 donation. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for the coffee. Now I can buy a venti coffee, guys. I'm so happy. All right. Uh, let's see here. Disney, Disney, Disney. Da, 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 da. Qcom, Walmart. Okay. Disney, Shopify. Shopify is another one that we can do. Uh, AMD, CVNA. Let's see. Steamus, Piton, Micron. Okay, Disney then. I feel like Disney will be a good one. Okay. Should we lock it in, chat? Should we lock it in, Disney, for ne next week's um, ticker of the week? Uh, I think it's a good business long term. Um, yeah, we did Disney in Wave 7, so that's going to help me out a little bit. Because we did the valuation already. But remember, things are going to change with the... Uh, with me doing the fundamentals this time, JC. So, um, let's uh, let's do Disney. Okay, cool, sounds good. Let's lock it in. I think Disney's the one. Uh, now, also, while I'm at it and I'm doing the spy technical breakdown here, uh, I wanna also hear from you guys what you would like to see on the webinars next week, okay? So just to give you guys a idea on what we did this week and the weeks prior to this, okay? Uh, the week prior to this, I went through how to hedge your portfolio and why option traders lose money. This week, we did wave patterns and trade confirmations. And I think these are like extremely important webinars to attend. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend. They're like less than 30 minutes, actually. If you skip through the the, the fluff, which is my pre-market update, uh, you can actually just get straight to the webinar. And they're extremely important webinars, okay? I highly recommend you to watch these two because it'll help you get out of FOMO majority of the time, all right? Uh, this is literally like how you avoid traps, these two right here. So I wanna know what you think I should do for a webinar next week that kind of flows into all of this. I wanna know your opinions. Uh, give me what you think would be a good one. Uh, we've already done time value of money, how to manage positions, how to position trade, how to swing trade, how to scalp, how to day trade. We've done all of those already. Uh, how to create a watch list that that would build uh, trading watch list breakouts and then market fundamentals and candlesticks charting we've done all of those already so let me know what you want what you would like me to do okay um, Okay, we guys, we, we chose Disney as the ticker the next week. So Disney's locked in. Avoiding options pricing slippage. Huh, okay. Interesting. Position sizing. Okay, that's an, another one. How do you draw all lines in trading view will be nice. You mean like, uh, how do you uh, draw patterns? I could do a webinar on patterns if you like. Um, like how do you spot patterns maybe? Is that what you're saying, Natasha? That might be interesting. Like, let's say you see something here. Like, how, how do you spot a pattern? Is that what you mean? Well, but but to be honest, though, pattern spotting, spotting is really, like, more of practice, though. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, can we do using fibs for entry and projection? Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm actually open for that. How, okay, if we get enough people who, who want that done, I will do that one. That's actually a pretty good one. Uh, how to use Fibonacci's for for retracements and projections? How about that? How 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 do you guys feel about if I were to do a webinar on using like for example you have uh you know uh, I don't know a stock on a one hour chart and you know I show you okay for example if you have this kind of a movement uh, and you want to plot where the targets would be above you right how do you go about finding that using a Fibonacci retracement would that be useful for you? I can also double up and explain what Fibonacci's are and, you know, kind of do that. That might be interesting if that works. Yeah. Let's see here. Ooh, a lot of people talking. Let me see. Uh, okay, Ivy Crush. Ivy Crush is a very small topic. Uh, that can be covered in like five minutes. We can, I can explain Ivy Crush right now to you, in fact, after this, like after this messages. Can we do using Fib? Okay, so that we do the Greeks and IV. The Greeks and IV is also a very important one, but that's that's something you got to take the mentorship course for because it's a very it's a very long explanation, and I personally don't want to cover it on a webinar. 
Uh, did we do identifying the different patterns? Yeah, that's an interesting one as well. That might be a good one. I would like to know, see how to know what the next price target is selling a trade. Okay, so I see two requests for this now. Uh, for uptrend, downtrend, yes, pattern setup. I think patterns would be a good one, yes. In the money versus out the money contracts. Uh, the fib is a good one. Can we do fibs? Yeah, fibs. Yeah, let's do it. Fibs, fibs, fibs. Okay, great. Uh, daily setup. How do, how do you look for trades deeper than watch list? Okay, gotcha. Huh. Okay, uh, identifying volume to enter a trade. This has already been covered in a webinar. That's what I'm saying, guys. Some of the things that you're asking for have already been covered. You want to know how to how to look for volume in a trade? You go to this webinar using your watches to trade pattern breakouts. I also cover it in uh, uh, the recent webinar, the one that I just posted yesterday. Yesterday's webinar also covers that. Uh, this one, uh, trade confirmations and wave patterns. You should watch all three of them. Super important. Okay, so in that case, how to hedge positions? We, Angie, come on. We look, 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 look. How to hedge your portfolio? I've already done it. Covered it. Um. Okay, so let's. In that case, I will do. And I'll write this down just so that I don't forget here. Okay. Uh, we will do. How to use fibs. And this, how to use fibs is a very gen generic, but it's going to cover how to use fibs for retracements and extensions and how do you plot your targets from there. And then I'll go into the basics of Fibonacci. So, so for example, oops, uh, for example, what are Fibonacci's first and all that. So we'll do a webinar on fibs basically. Okay. That will be one of them. And then the second one we can do maybe would be. See, they gotta go hand in hand. I don't like like doing random videos because I wanna I want it to flow. You know, I want it to flow. Um, so maybe patterns, yeah. Technical. Since we're entering technical analysis realm, maybe I can do patterns. How do you spot? Well, but how do you spot? Like, okay, personally, think about it, right? Um. Like, um, I mean, if you, if you're finding like, how do you spot a, a trend? Like, how do you see a pen and or, I mean, it's, it's practice at the end of the day, right? It's like, okay, you know, you, you're, I mean, I guess I could try and teach it. I could try. I, I'll have to, I'll have to noodle on that idea a little bit. I would have to noodle on it. Uh, any other recommendations for the webinar? So we'll do uh, Fibonacci's. How to use fibs, Fibonacci's, how to use Fibonacci's on Tuesday. How about that? Okay. And then on uh, Thursday, I still need an idea. So let me know what you think. Okay. Let me know what you think. Uh, Fibonacci retracements and extensions. Uh, I'll cover everything in fibs in, on Tuesday. And then Thursday, we'll cover something else. So let me know what you want to see on Thursday. In the meantime, I'm going to do breakdown of SPY and then I'll come back and read your comments. Okay. Okay, so um, here going back to where we are right now, uh, we had a triple top and a triple bottom. Uh, that is a wave pattern, right? Okay. Uh, for this, you essentially are just going to be waiting for a break above either this wave or you're going to wait for a break below this wave. Uh, there is nothing else that you can do. Okay. Uh, now, People are going to start asking me, should I take an iron condor here? Uh, no, you shouldn't take an iron condor here because an iron condor profits from volatility. Okay. Sorry, lack of volatility. But the market is all but uh, not volatile. Okay. The market is very, very volatile. Okay. Uh, so you really don't want to take a condor. Okay. This is not the environment to take a condor, even though this is a ideal setup for a condor. This is not the type of condor that you want to take. Why? Because condors benefit from lack of volatility, not super volatility. Okay. And the market is super volatile. Uh, now, uh, the other thing is we really need the NASDAQ to get back in this trend line. Okay. It needs to get back into this trend line. And so if it wants to get back into the trend line, uh, it has to make a series of waves up here. So it, it, let's say we go up here. We Let's say we break the 38.2 today. The next stop would be the 50, right? Uh, and then 
that would cross over these moving averages. This over here is a very dangerous zone. There's a bunch of moving averages. There's a fib zone that coincides with it. And there is a trend line, okay? So this is like a big booby trap here. And also today is quad witching day. Honestly, it just means a little more volatility, but to be honest, not really a big deal, okay? So don't really like play too much into the quad witching thing. We've had so many quad witches now and it was very underwhelming, okay? Um, push up here, touch this, that would be the Nasdaq's play for today. Uh, we are in that uptrend. If we get rejected somewhere over here, then we're coming down again. Uh, and, and I don't know how to feel about that. I, that would just be, you know, something that honestly, I wouldn't be able to figure out neither. So we just have to wait it out. Uh, with SPY though, with SPY, we're backing up into the channel. We're back into the channel. We're trying to get up there, okay? And then the 38.2 will be the region of target. That would be the region of target, okay? Uh, with the Dow Jones here, nicely observing this channel and an, on an uptrend. So I'm really hoping that the Dow can pull the market up somewhat. Uh, let's really hope that. The problem is Apple makes a very small percentage of the Dow now. So that's going to kind of be a bummer. Uh, so that's my take on um, Dow and Nasdaq SPY. Uh, the VIX is nicely selling off here. So I hope it continues on here. That would be a good, nice bullish thing. Okay. Uh, what is Fibs? Fibonacci retracements, Kyle. That's what it, that's what we're talking about. Okay, cool. We'll do Fibs then next week. Um, there's a hundred and eleven of you. Can everyone maybe take a second out of your day to just lightly tap the like button um, if you do appreciate this stream? Uh, if you know if you like what we do here and you like what you know value that I have to offer. I really appreciate it if you can just take a day, a second out of your day to like the stream so that this video reaches other people. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so fibs and then, sorry, it's my first day. Okay, fib retracement extensions, probably, yeah. Okay, great. Um, so I'll, I guess I'll come out with the idea for a Thursday live stream in that case, uh, Thursday's um, webinar. And I'll pro since we're going into the realm of technical analysis, I may choose to do something technical. Uh, I may choose to maybe dive deep into a technical concept and start to do those things. Uh, would you guys prefer technical webinars? I actually, I actually want, okay, so I have a question. Would you guys prefer technical webinars like that are concentrated on technical analysis? Or, and like, because we've been doing a bunch of ones on fundamentals, right? Do you want me to pivot into TA? For a while and then come back to fa a little later or do you want me to do one week ta one week fa because i'm kind of dabbling with the idea of doing ta for a little bit maybe two webinars on ta and then the week after we do a fa concept and then the week after we do another two tas right um let me know what you think okay uh remember this stream is for you guys and i want to make sure that i i want to give you guys as much value as possible so that when you come here you really learn okay okay cool so i what i'm hearing is you guys like ta okay so i will pivot to ta then for a while and see what you guys like from ta okay um okay cool all right, I'm gonna do that for a while, and let's see how that goes for a while. Okay, um, we'll do we'll do like TA one week, and then I'll see how you guys feel if you guys like it, and then I'll do FA the next week, and then TA the next week, and then FA the next week, and you know we'll kind of alternate between so that we're all growing together. Okay, cool. All right, that's good. So this is the everyday growth advisors. We're gonna grow together, right? It's all learn, compound, grow. We're gonna grow together. So I will start to think of, okay, so we'll start off with fibs and then Thursday, I'll pick a topic on TA uh, that we can go through, okay? It may be a simple topic, uh, but I'll go through something that is gonna be immensely valuable for you guys, all right? Something that maybe I'm, I'm, I use very often. Uh, maybe I'll teach you guys a simple thing like how to plot these supply and demand zones. Maybe that will be good, right? Uh, these supply and demand zones, they are, you know, very important zones sometimes knowing where, you know, the stock is going to reverse and stuff like that. Would you like maybe um, a webinar on 
Thursday to be supply and demand zones. I could do that. Let me know what you think. And I realized nobody posted any tickers today. This is interesting. This has been probably the only live stream that I have run so far where nobody posted a ticker. And we've been talking back and forth. And this is actually kind of cool. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, uh, Alex, I'm sorry, but the ticker for next week has been chosen. It's going to be Disney. We're going to do Disney for next week. So the mouse will be covered. Okay, supply and demand zones on Thursday and fibs on Tuesday. Got it. Cool. Got you. I never understand what you mean by that zone. <laughs> Damn, Rainiel. All right, Savage. All right, cool. I will. I will talk. I'll. I'll. I'll tell you what I mean, and um, it will be interesting. Uh, can you look at DHL and let me know if it's a good setup? Okay, that's cool. Did you really, Jason? Man, I didn't see that. Where is it? Let's see, Jason, Jason, Jason. Oh, actually, here somebody posted this one. Let's see, Costco. Costco three sixty for ten two. Oh man, your strike's really out the money. I feel like your strike is very far away. I mean, I like the idea, and I, I am bullish for Costco, but I think your strike is too far away. I think you should have gone with like a 350 call. That would have been a bit more realistic, you know? That's that's my opinion for this, Mark. Let's see. Uh, you think Beyond can bounce back after the, upgrade, after the downgrade? Absolutely it can. I have no, like... I don't really think much of analyst upgrades or downgrades, to be honest. I trade off what my fundamentals are and what I think of the stock. I don't go by somebody else's view on it. It's like, um, that's like saying you, um, you know, you value somebody else's opinion for your own thingy. Uh, I don't like doing that. WKHS, $34, Octo $34 October 16 calls. WKHS. Oh man, wow. What in the world? Nice little uptrend too. Whew. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. I mean, it could probably keep going too. Uh, I would wait for a pullback. It's getting a little interesting. I mean, that's your zone right there. Um, definitely interesting. I mean, I, how I, I think you should wait for a pullback here and then, you know, set up for the next wave. And this stock didn't even get sold off. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, thirty-four dollar calls, October sixteen. I mean, yeah, sure, hold it, man, if you want, Daniel. I mean. I don't have much to say about that one. It, it, I would wait for a pullback to get in for sure if somebody's thinking about it. Uh, Jason, I did not see your ticker. Where is it? Oh boy. Um, I'm trying to go through here. Okay. Oh, there it is. MCK 200 calls. What is this? McKesson Corporation. What do they do? Distributing pharmaceuticals and providing healthcare information technology. Interesting. Okay. Uh, two hundred dollar calls for ten sixteen. Yo, that's really far out the money, bro. Why? Why are you so bullish? Do you know inside information? If you don't, if you do, please don't incriminate me. Yo, why such a why such a, a far strike? Nah, don't don't be taking such a far strike. Come on, even if it's bullish, it's not that bullish. That's too far of a strike, man. I would go like 160, 170 at max. That's like it's too far of a strike. Two hundred. I wouldn't. 
If you're in the stream and you like it so far, I would appreciate it if you take your day, uh, a second of your day to like the button. Smash the like button. Um, see if we can get it to 100 likes today. That would be nice. Okay. I like how I like how the chat blew up the moment I said fibs. Nice. All right, we'll do fibs, and we're gonna do the supply and demand zones. I think th those will go really nicely hand in hand. To be honest, those will be nice. Um, should be selling puts in this market. Can't agree with you more. We did that already on the intermediate course. We sold puts on a bunch of different tickers. We have a current, so we're doing a current wave with the um, intermediate course right now, the wave number eight, and we took a whole bunch of trades that are basically all put spreads and all put selling puts, like real cycles that are just getting started, uh, collecting a bunch of premium on really nice stocks. So, um, can you look at DHI, DHL? Is that DHL or DHI? I, DHI, Dr. Horan. Um, I mean, it's looking bullish. If that's what you want me to say, it is looking bullish. But I'd wait for a pullback and then and then you get in. Well, yeah, or break above this and then you get in after you validate the support. That's how you can do that. Uh, Facebook two sixty five nine twenty five. That's next week expiry. Yeah. To 65 calls uh, yeah possibly possible I wouldn't rule it out but I think the strikes a bit far okay TA new ticker uh, we already chose a new ticker unfortunately and yes I was wondering about oh wonder about how you determine supply and demand zones okay we'll cover that on Thursday's live stream Neo 21 call I like Neo by the way guys oh that's another one I forgot to mention Neo okay uh, I was looking at this with um, the intermediate course mentees today and I actually like this setup uh, there's been a lot of flow there's been and, and also the option chain is implying a 15% move in the next 7 to 14 days okay a 15% move for the next 7 to 14 days now it's an implied move so it could be plus minus okay so what we went ahead and did on the um, the mentorship group and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a free tick, uh, free little uh, trade here if you guys want. Uh, we took a 21 and 17 strangle. Uh, so we bought a $21 call. And we bought a $17 put. Uh, so either way, whichever way this goes, uh, we hope that NEO will move strongly in either direction. If it doesn't, then the net debit for this trade was only $1.63. 163 dollars for that. Not too bad, not too shabby. So that's a free little freebie for you. Boeing 250 for 2021. Sure, hold it, Jonathan. AMD $80 calls for the end of October. Yeah, absolutely. I like this one. AMD, another good one. Actually, let's go ahead and put this on our watch list too. This is one that may bounce violently. Just going to say it right now. AMD. Coca-Cola, $52 calls for ten twenty-three. Coca-Cola moves really slowly. That's the problem. Oh, I do like it actually. Nice pick. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, looks like it's making higher highs, right? Looks like a nice scalloping out on this moving averages. Uh, volume's been coming in nicely and strongly. Uh, OBB is starting to point up here. And the stock has been making higher highs. I like it. Uh, let's see it rush up here. And you have till the end of October. Yeah, I'd say hold it. Absolutely. I like the setup. That's good. Uh, team 183 calls. Let's see. Oof. So many tickers coming in now. Team 183 calls. 1023. What is this? Atlantis Atlassian Corporation. Wait, why is your strike so weird? Is that really a 183 call? 183 is here. 
Interesting. I'm wondering why you chose such a specific strike. Um, I I don't think I, I don't think this is bullish just yet. If you're playing this as a bounce, I don't see the sign yet. It's still it, to me this is still bearish. Just my opinion. Still trading. It's still rejecting the moving averages, and it's still it's still on a downtrend. It's making lower lows. It could come up if it gets rejected one more time. That's your confirmation. It's in the downtrend. Um, uh, SFIX. I heard something about this one too. High IV. Yeah, I, I think uh, Wall Street bets betting on this one, right? SFIX. SFIX. Stitch fix. Interesting. Nine twenty five. Thirty dollar calls. Sure, you could hold that one for next week. But I would say get rid of this. Like, if this position is in a loss right now, I'd say get rid of it before the weekend's up. On Monday, that that contract's gonna drain. In fact, today it's gonna drain the data, so be careful. Uh, TA sounds good. Are we continuing with fundamental analysis of a stock? Yeah. We'll be doing FA of Disney. Disney will be the ticker of the week. Webinar, using vol volume as an indicator. Uh, we've already covered volume, but if you want, we can go more technically in this next week, if you like. Uh, Walmart, 145.11. Yep, you can hold that one. Absolutely, I would hold it. It's McCormick, maybe misspelled the ticker. Oh, okay. Uh, do you invest or use options more frequently? I do both. 50% uh, of my options trading profits go into a dividend portfolio. Um, hell yeah, supply and demand zone. Yep, yep, yep. So basically MKC 200 call. Okay. So that was a mistypo. $200 call. Oh, wow. Interesting. Huh. I mean, sure. I mean, let's see how this one performs I don't know, uh, this coming week. I think you should judge it by how it's going to perform this week, man, Jason. I'm up $193 on Tesla shares. My average price per share is 430 Should I sell them at open or sell half of them? I mean, if you own Tesla shares, aren't you planning to hold them forever? Um, let's see. Okay. TSM 861016. Oh, 10 TSM. I like TSM. $86 calls. Yeah. Looks. Oh, man. Problem is, we need a confirmation here. We kind of sold off pretty hard. But yeah, I, I like the bounce play. I like what you're saying. You can hold it and see what happens. I would hold it. On a straddle, is profit limited? On a straddle, you are banking on. Uh, a move um, you're banking on a highly volatile move it doesn't matter which direction you move you're just you just want the stock to move that's uh, and it's an out the money option so you are essentially trying to you know take advantage of a IV rush uh, and also a Delta rush also a gamma rush you're you're taking advantage of volatility that's what you're doing um, Profit is not limited. It's unlimited on a straddle because you're long both those options. You're long. Uh, Disney 140 call 1120. Well, we'll find out next week, but let me do that anyway. 1120, 140 calls. Possibly, I guess. I would hold that one. Long-term portfolio webinar. Unfortunately, no. That's too much. It requires an entire course for that. That's going to be part of the advanced course, by the way. Uh, I'm kind of putting together the curriculum of the advanced course right now, and that's going to be one thing that I'm going to be putting into it. How do you build a customized portfolio based on your risk tolerance using a Excel sheet, step by step, building it together with the market beta, using hedge fund analysis, using the, the mutual funds, using all the data that you can find 
on your own um, and then building a portfolio, building your dividend portfolio from there, and then using options to manage that portfolio. So that's what the advanced course is going to be like. Uh, I'm putting together the curriculum uh, sometime soon. Uh, and so Walmart already. So yes, hold that one. What experience did you choose for Neil? Uh, we chose, I believe it was 1016. Or, and yeah, hold on, I'll tell you right now. Hold on. Oh, 2nd October. 2nd October is what we chose for Neo. Uh, anything you're looking at today following your Twitter? Yeah, I know I have been a little inactive on Twitter, but that's because I've been a little busy with my finals with school. But I'm hoping that next week I'll be back on it. Um, I'm actually almost done with uh, my, my work with school, so I'm uh, going to be pretty much a bit more active on uh, Twitter and the rest of the stuff. Uh, today I'm going to be watching Boeing. I'm going to be watching Beyond for a rebound and a test of this supply uh, the, uh, supply zone up, up there again. Uh, and I'll be looking at also Apple as a bounce play. Uh, I'll be looking at Microsoft as a bounce play, possibly. Uh, those are the ones I'll be watching today, primarily. Oh, and NVIDIA. Yes, NVIDIA. This one. This one. Absolutely. Oh, and AMD. AMD. This one as well. These are all the ones I'll be looking at today, just for your information. All righty, cool. I feel like we went through a lot of stuff today. So, how to use fibs, and we're gonna do uh, supply demand zones. Cool, I got that written down, it's locked in, and new ticker is Disney. Do you scalp for bounces? Uh, it depends if I see the setup for a scalp. Remember, it's not just about the bounce, it's about the setup, right? Uh, and if you wanna know how the setup for a scalp should look like, there is very many playlists here that will teach you that. Click on the how to scalp trade. This one goes over exactly what to look for. Uh, it is possible, but um, you can't just base off the bounce. You gotta wait for the volume and momentum to come in to confirm, then you can scalp. Is the Discord private? Yes, it is. The Discord that I am a part of is Option Swing, which is the partner of our stream. Um, they are a online community. We have approximately 2,000 2, traders in this stream, uh, in this uh, tra trading floor. Uh, we provide all kinds of insights, educational stuff. Uh, I'm the head of education for this, uh, business, I want to say. Um, and so we provide daily watch lists, stock bots, educational chat, which I'm, I basically need and I run uh, the EGA course, which is a mentorship course that I give uh, bi-weekly. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch of other things. This live stream is powered by Option Swing. Uh, by the way, guys, just a heads up, the next in beginners course is going to be on 926. So make sure you note that down on your calendar. Those will probably sell out, so I highly recommend you to um, keep that on your calendar somewhere. And with that, I want to say thank you for tuning into the live stream today. We are three likes away from 100. Can somebody please hit the like button so that we can get to 100? That would be a really nice Friday gift to me. You know, you know, it would be nice. I would appreciate it. Um, and... Yeah, have a great weekend, guys. You know, uh, don't stress out too much about trading today. It's okay to sit on the sidelines sometimes. Um, and when you're feeling out of sync, uh, that's completely fine. Just don't force positions and be disciplined with your trading strategy, okay? Just stay out and just be calm instead of forcing trades and losing money. All right, so have a great weekend. We got to 100 likes. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, and I will see you guys on Monday. We have the webinars and everything locked and loaded. Thank you for being a part of my journey, and I will see you guys on Monday. All right? Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.